Yes, we are satisfied with uh, with our growth in the second quarter. It's over 80% year-on-year top-line growth. Uh, we don't see as much seasonality as before, so that's uh, thanks to our transition to free-to-play business model and the fact we are spending more on acquiring users. Uh, so yeah, overall, uh, very satisfied. Yeah, the fixed costs uh, went up somewhat compared to, to last year uh, due to listing on NASDAQ and uh, due to the fact we have uh, increased the team substantially to be able uh, to, to maintain and uh, to further develop all the free-to-play games uh, that we plan on releasing, you know, that we have in the portfolio and we plan on releasing before the end of the year. Um, and uh, that's why the costs went up and they're rather high, the, the, the fixed part of them. Uh, but as we scale the revenue of the free-to-play games, this fixed part of costs is going to matter less and less. And that is why and that is how we're going to get to better margins. Yeah, we, the Secret Society is obviously a big part of our success and our revenue. Uh, but we're learning from the success of the game, we're trying to improve other games as well. And we have uh, a lot of cross-selling opportunities between the games in our portfolio. So that is, uh, that is also an upside for, uh, for other games in our portfolio. As I mentioned, the focus is going to be on growing the top line revenue and uh, we have all the needed components in place. We have the listing, we have the teams, uh, we have the platform and the tools we need and uh, we, you know, we have the games and we're releasing more games actually produced and owned uh, by G5 before the end of the year. So the focus is going to be on making these games successful uh, with the help of the, the teams and the tools that we have and continuing uh, impressive, impressive growth that we would not achieve if we did not uh, change the business model.